Hey guys, Siraga the Lioness here and welcome back to another episode of Lioness Say So. Now this segment is a one-on-one -on -one just between me you guys. <laughs> you guys man honestly that you many miss Nikki wa pasha sana like na kwambia leo we are talking about divorce and separation now this is whereby unajua this happens sana sana when guys are not getting along especially in their relationship it doesn't matter if you're married doesn't matter if you guys are together for a short while or a long while okay let's talk about something that's a bit uh with less commitment that is separation now this happens basically when you guys need to take a break from each other now guys honestly i think Separation sometimes can heal a relationship, but not completely because I feel like um, space is very important in any relationship, honestly. So now, um, how does it get to this point whereby you think you and your spouse need to separate? I think it's when you start getting in each other's nerves like extremely, like extremely, and now you feel like, maze, umeshe angali amtu wako lafu na boeka tu. Unaboeka tu, alafu mnaza kuleta na juu, mnaza ku, 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 yani, vitu tu mwa bangi mnaza kukasirikiana. And I feel that's a point whereby you need to take some space from each other and maybe separate. And, um, okay, at some point it can actually help you heal the relationship. At some point it might not really help you heal from the relationship. Because I feel like sometimes when you take space, you have time to think about what you really want. You have, to, you have time to think about, um, you have time to think about the the stuff that you need from this person or the stuff that you actually desire from this person maybe this can be caused because of boredom or because maybe you guys have this less interest now let me get let me just hit a part whereby guys get um get um whatever they get bored you know why this happens is because why this happens is because yeah let's talk about why people get bored in the first place it's because that you know first of all by they were saying do you do you ever think about when you meet somebody you know for the first time and you just jump into something probably you don't know anything about each other but because you're infatuated about that moment you actually just like go with it actually it's a very very unhealthy thing to do because you think maybe this is the love of your life but have you ever thought that this is an actual stranger that you're falling for? You know? But, you know, what do you come how or nangizi v2? Una get? I don't understand why you, you would actually subject yourself to an actual stranger and actually think that you have life with this person. Honestly, I, I, I really don't understand. So, now, why would you get bored of this person very fast? Now, here I am to tell you why. First of all, how umjui, you don't know this person. Second of all, you don't even understand the aspect of this person in your life. You don't even know what you want from this person. Yes, I get it. I get it. The sex is good. The, you know, the lovey-dovey stuff is good. But honestly, I, I, I really, I really don't like. I don't really like the part whereby you actually decide to settle down with a public, perfectly good stranger. You know. And another thing is, I, I need to, I need to, you guys to understand is, you cannot fall in love with somebody you don't know. Because at some point you'll get bored. Or maybe when you start discovering their flaws, then you get bored. Honestly. Yeah. So, let's move on to divorce now. Which divorce is much more serious because this involves marriage. This is a serious commitment. Why do people get divorced? And, and what are the implications of somebody getting divorced? I mean, you know, sometimes it might involve kids because probably you've had kids with this person and you want to get divorced and all that stuff. So, now... Okay, first of all, divorce is something that can have a major impact in your life. Basically, this means that um se ukonaye lasima mwa chana na ile mna chana mna chana kabisa. And this is a person maybe back in the day you went into the altar and you said I do to this person and you said you know what through thick and thin all those vows and all that stuff no kasema oh yeah man this is you know this is it for me. Now let's talk about why most people get divorced. And I'm not even going to lie. What's it? What's infidelity? What's it? financial nini? When you get divorced to somebody, you just literally do not love this person anymore. You don't love this person anymore. And the moment that the thought of divorce comes to your head, you're like, oh, you know what? Maybe that's why even most courts say that you guys are take some time apart. But let me tell you, that is all. That is all irrelevant. You don't love this person anymore. You want nothing to do with them. You want nothing to do. Any atautaki, atokimuona. 
Any ni kama una feel kama utatapika. You know what? I'm going to talk I'm going to talk about um me personally. How many times did I think about divorcing my ex? <laughs> Never. Never, you see? Because I still love that person, you see? And, and why I always give an example when I use my marriage for uh, you know my marriage that lasted for 9 years is because I feel like people people do not know people do not know the, the definition of marriage we sign that document we say oh you know what this is it for us that means nothing you know that means nothing because as long as at the end of the day unajua ini kitu ulijiingiza na you are not ready manze utakuwa manze umekosea sana na 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 hata ibu imagine munachana na munachana kotini na ina involve watu hii imagine your kids they were used to mom and dad, mom, daddy, in the same house, we are a happy family, we go out for outings, we go out, and you know, just, you know, we are a big happy family, and all of a sudden, mom and dad have separate houses. Mom and dad, how on Geleshani the same way. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm And that's why I, I feel like, you know, don't subject yourself to something that you're not ready for. And this is now, I'm trying to, to prepare you before you get to the point, yeah, separation, divorce, is of it to manze. Make sure umse ukona ye, ni umse munaweza machina ye, umse unona, inye umse ni lifetime. Unona. And, and sometimes I, 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 like to, I like to give an example with my life because, you know, for, the, for, the, for, 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 for those of you who have seen me and have, uh, have met me or who guys who know my story is that death did us part. No, no, yeah. So, do you see yourself in your spouse, you know, death doing your part? Do you see it? Like, um, say, um, as a separate two ill time, um, to die. Can you stand a person for that long? And, and if, and if it, it's in your mind right now, and you say no, that self doubt voice inside your head, listen to it. Because I, I don't see how people can commit and say, you know what, this is a lifetime thing. And then all of a sudden you come and just end it. Unona. Watu boeka. Sex becomes boring. I'm not even going to lie to you. Sex becomes so boring. We're like, babe, can we eat pizza? I'm a, can we just have sex? And you're like, oh yeah, you know, let's just eat pizza. You make sure boy can home say. As in, because... You know, I'm just telling you guys the truth. You know, and 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 one and funny thing is, I I've done research and and I've I've talked to a few married people and those guys always tell me, manze, eh, manze, everything is so predictable. It's boring, you know. But at the end of the day, didn't you think that this stuff was gonna get boring? Do you think the grass is greener out there when you go meet somebody else and you start over again? But if, honestly, me, I have that phobia. I have a phobia of starting over. I have a phobia of, of trying to replace the love of my life. I have a phobia for like, oh, the pendam setena. So what do I do? When people get too close, I push them away. Yeah, so those are the tiny, tiny things that people don't understand about this aspect. And by the way, it's even harder for the guy than the chick. Basically, when you decide to commit to somebody for the rest of your life, make sure that you're serious about them. Make sure you, that you know what you're getting yourself into. You know, this baby mama, baby daddy stuff, that stuff makes me so annoyed. Okay, I didn't, I, I'm not blaming you because maybe... No, accidents do happen or you're lost in the infatuation or you're lost in that point that stuff honestly is just okay but me being being somebody who's been raised by a single mom i don't think i would love my children to grow up with just me alone i want my children to grow up with a father figure in their you know in their lives because i feel like you know i would have been a different person um if my dad was around anyway that's that, that's that, that's that's besides the point guys now let's talk about in case you're the love of your life passes or you know whether you're a widow where you're a widower or whether you are just um 
no de miyako akufe uh chali yako akufe you know it doesn't matter kama mkumewana you get either way a relationship is a relationship let's talk about moving on Hey, he kitu si raisi. And moving on is like the hard, one of the hardest tasks ever because, like I said before in my episodes, like this is somebody new you're trying to adopt to. Because let me tell you, mese ni kwambie kitu. Mimi unge niambia my ex ange, you know, dance with the angels, singe wae kwa mini. Na mtu ange niambia, oh, by the way, si ronka, you know what? Ati, ati, move on from 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 fred that would have been me inge kwa hiyo like one and a half years ago tungepigana vita you know why i couldn't embrace that because i could not see anybody who could match up to that person i could not see anybody who would make me fall in love like he did now let's talk about the part of moving on that one i'm not going to talk much about it but it's your personal decision and that means that unafa who accept and the moment acceptance comes into your heart then you have the power to move on and by the way with the funny thing guys i want you just to listen to this point i have to say do not try and replace the person who passed away okay <laughs> you cannot replace them you will never meet anyone like them you will never ever feel for anybody what you felt for them. Try and accept the people who are in your life right now. And me, I'm just going to tell you, I have a problem with accepting the people who are in my life. You know, and I'm not going to tap into my personal life. I have a problem. But if you see the people who I like, why? It, it, it's like doppelgangers out there, you know. If you know what a doppelganger, you don't know what a doppelganger is, Google it. It means that a person who kind of similarly looks to somebody that you, you know, that somebody, you know, man, I don't even want to go there. I'm not doing I want to see, tap into my personal life, Sana. Like, you know, be a key to acceptance is important. And if you cannot accept this person is gone, give yourself time to mourn, to grieve, and just, and if you're not ready to love again, stay by yourself until you're ready. Don't make people suffer on the account that this person went. Just like the same way, ufai kuchukua, let's not switch up a little bit, ufai kuchukua umse new in your life, ati unamfanya a pay for the mistakes of your ex, ati because your ex was bad, ati unamfanya kusema, hey, manze bademu wako all the same, Women are, di you know, people are different. How about you embrace this new person, take them as they are, and try to be happy? Unona. And don't replay in your life. Atu nenda kutafta de manafona na na ex wako. Unenda kutafta ati mtu nafona na ex wako. Man, you know, that, that's just, it's like replaying. It's, it's like the same. Nojo ni kama vinyo madijo uspin, ngoma wana remix, alafu wana yanzisha tena, then they pull up the song, they pull up the song. You know, you're pulling up your life because you are restricting yourself from actually meeting nice people. So, avoid making other people suffer because your ex made you suffer. Honestly, just, you might actually meet a nice person and you don't give them a chance because, I don't know, and by the way, you don't have nobody owes you anything enough for you at Unafanyam to enya and the kutseko na mumiza roho because you can. Take back the power. If somebody has left you, if somebody has died, take back the power and say, I'm in control of my life. I don't need this. I don't want this. I need to forget this. And once you get to that point, you're gonna be happy. Akuna msiana faku kwa tiana ku. And by the way, if something doesn't make you happy, walk away from it. I wish my 20-year-old my version of me took advice, you know, for myself. I, I wish I could talk to my 20-year-old me. And, and maybe I would have had a different life. I'm not saying I regret my life. But actually, I think if I had better guidance, I would have done better. And that's why I always put myself on the spotlight as an example and say, you know what, this is it, you know. Sironka, what, has, what is done is done. Your 20s are gone. And everything is gone. But let me tell you one thing. I'm still young. I'm still beautiful. And you're still young. You're still beautiful. You're vibrant. You're handsome. 
it's time to let it go sometimes because we cannot change the bad things that happen to us like i said guys kama kawaida if you need any more advice from me because this came this topic came from one of my social media messages and they said you know i need to talk about because some people are afraid to walk away don't be afraid to walk away from something that doesn't make you happy. If you need me, if you need a one-on-one -on -one talk, if you want to come down to the show and we talk about, you know, whatever it is you're going through, make sure you go to my social media handles that is Sironka Lioness everywhere. Everywhere. Don't be afraid. I answer all my DMs. Okay? I got you and we're going to get through this together. I've been your host, Sironka the Lioness. And um, stay strong. It's okay. You know what? It's never too late to start over. Peace. Until next time, God bless. Bye.